Hello there guys, it's Captain Invisible here and welcome to another turn of the Britannia campaign for Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms. Um, this will be turn number 33 of the campaign um, and there has been some things going on um, behind the scenes of this uh, mad campaign so we shall um, we shall have to take a look at those and uh, I'll introduce you to the um, to the new plan of the British in this campaign. Um, so, the um, a message from the Norwegian Kingdom of Britannia. Um, that's a big army you've got there, King Anselm. Uh, compensating for something, question mark, uh, King Magnus. Um, it's not really a good idea to insult um, ki uh, King Anselm when he does have such a mighty force. Um, he is willing to use it against just about anyone. Um, but, uh, as I said, there is a new plan, uh, which we'll implement this turn. Um, so financially, we're sort of stable. Uh, we're not doing too bad, but I would like to, um, to improve on that at, um, throughout the turn and um, just make some adjustments to our uh, infrastructure. Um, militarily, it looks like the Norwegian Kingdom of Britannia is top on the balance of power with um, Wales being top financially and in production, so they must be doing something uh, interesting there. Uh, we are top in population and it looks like the Norwegian Kingdom of Britannia is top overall. Uh, we are close by in terms of military and overall. Uh, no, 94% and 96% is not too bad. Um, so first things first, we need to... Question, sire. What's this unit? I think this unit was heading this way. Yeah, we'll continue that. Because I'm not sure where I wanted that unit. <laughs> Those two units. Um, they're kind of hiding here, so I, I don't think they would have to, they would have been able to get up uh, this way in time. So a little bit too far away. Um, well, I guess first things first, we should probably send. Me Oops, no, there we are. <laughs> we should probably send messages because um, that's going to be. Um, it's going to dictate this turn, um, so we might as well spoil it to start with. Um, Hail, King of Wales. We have caught word of your peace treaty with no, with the no, no, we shouldn't. Oh, it says it there. No, we g gems. So, I'm going to officially declare war on the Welsh. Um, we will give you two 
turns to pair your bosses for war. Oops, messing up my uh, words here. Uh, why you? Oh, wait, hold. It can be civil even whilst. Kill each other. Yours respectfully. King and Slim. Send. I don't think I need to send one to Norway just yet. Right, we'll leave him be. Um, so we are so we are going to declare war on Wales. Um, unfortunately, our main army is up here, so we'll need to bring bring this army down. Um, and I think I should be able to move it into Chester. No, it's going to end up in Lancaster. Uh, we'll we'll move these guys there because. The feudal knights are super expensive in upkeep, so we need to get those guys settled in somewhere where their upkeep isn't going to uh, drain us of our resources. And then we are going to... Sire. We're going to want to probably utilise this fort as well as we move, move our way down. So we shall take... Take Prince Anselm and... Four of the Knights and the Cavalry to this fort. And then the rest can leave here actually. Maybe move. No, we can leave the rest there. So we can just move, move Prince uh, and or King Anselm down uh, this way. Um, we can start moving these guys back. Sire. Yes, sire. Sire. Start moving some forces back towards uh, towards Welsh lands. Just have a. We don't have an artillery piece here, so it might be best just shoving an artillery piece there. Uh, probably leave the armed. Uh, no, we'll yes. move the armed swordsman there. Then we can probably reutilize these uh, these forts uh, just to get free upkeep. It's it's all about the free upkeep because <laughs> it'll help us manage our finances. Um, so we need to look at we need to look at our position down here. Some more infantry. Um, I say we could have done with some infrastructure actually. Um, it's going to be best in. Thirty trade. Thirty one trade. Um, oh, excellent! Yeah, three three hundred and forty odd in there. Uh, and farming, that would be quite useful. Oh, 
I could use, could really do with using it for troops. Um, oh, my mouse has gone a bit weird. Uh, excuse that, it, it sometimes does that. Um, we've got, oh, we've got a spy. Let's, uh, utilize the spy, see what he's, uh, see what he's got around about here. Not really that heavily defended. Um, I could literally just do a quick strike, but I've given him two turns to repair. Um, possibly a mistake, but uh, I need to be civil in this war. Um, yeah, I'm not looking to completely out out slaughter him just yet. Uh, we have to be uh, nice. Um, so two, two, three, one, fifty. Yeah, gonna move those guys down. Then these guys will be a turn away from getting to Nottingham. Uh, might then move those guys down to London as well. Um, and then now Swordsman can just settle in, uh, settle in Nottingham. Um, so yeah, other than shifting a few troops around, there's not a lot I can... Oh, in fact, no, there is something I can do. Yes, my lord. We shall hear you out, but do not expect uh, da, 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 much. And then... Give region... Carlisle. Except we will attack. There we are. So we can actually make the offer to Norway to give us back uh, Carlisle uh, as per our peace agreement. Um, failing that, we will exterminate them with the full force of the um, the English army. Is currently split between uh, King Anselm moving down south and um, the Prince uh, Alfonso, um, who is going to possibly stay here just to reinforce the. maybe move down to Lancaster actually. Hail my king. Do I have a general in here? No. Let's move yes. him down into Chester. And improve the tax rate there, um, get as much money out of it as possible. And then Alfonso Hail my king. and some forces from here Orders. Orders. can move back down. Spy as well. Let's move him. Let's get him moving into the heartland of Wales. Um, excellent. So yeah, we've got a nice defence force here. Nice defensive troops. Some forces here as well. Now we've got an army moving down. Not at all good. So we're going to just play sort of defensive up north and start pushing into Welsh land sort of down here and possibly, well definitely down in the south. We, we need to retake the south. Um, I think he's created. It, oh no, he's not turned this into a into a city yet. I thought he turned it into a city just by the look of it, but um, he may be returning it into a castle. Um, so we'll have to watch for that as well. Um, that is pretty much it. So we are going to be making quite a lot of money uh, next turn. It will manage our finances quite well, and we've got troops sort of around and about. So we'll keep an eye on those guys. Um, we probably do want to pull our fleet back. Joining the fleet, sire. Yes, sir. Full sail. We'll sail those probably towards London. Oops, no London's today, down sire. here. And then once we've got them to into London, we could probably get some better ships and then send them up towards the other coast. Um, so we can, uh, morning, yeah, we can sort of blockade all the Welsh parts on the way around and just. Uh, create some havoc. Uh, these ships need to go back into English docks. Oh, and that's a mistake. <laughs> We've got a huge Welsh army just waiting for us there. Um, 
I don't think we'll be able to take on that fleet, so we're gonna uh, just leave it for now. Um, leave it alone. <laughs> we don't want to uh, poke the bear, as it were. Um, but we'll um, we'll sort of manage our fleets, get get a decent fleet going, and then we'll have uh, naval supremacy on the Welsh uh, Welsh seas as well. Um, so that's pretty much it. Just checking out what he's got down here. It's he's got sporadic sort of armies down here. Nothing too big in terms of uh, going to kill me big. Um, the biggest one's probably Montgomery and got a few garrison forces here and there. Uh, Montgomery and then this one here. Um, that's quite a healthy one. Uh, let's just see whether uh, militarily... Oops. Let's do all living. Uh, militarily, uh, we are just above Wales, so it must have similar numbers to what we have. Um, Ireland must have similar numbers to what we have as well. Uh, I think they're uh, building up militarily. Um, Norwegians have more. Um, we're doing good production wise. Um, yeah, so we just need to just push against the Welsh and take back our lands because they've um, they've taken quite a lot of our land uh, over the past few turns. Uh, well, we gave them the south, but we want the south back. <laughs> we want the south back. We want Arundel back. So um, we'll uh, we'll plan for that. Uh, so we can end the turn, and we shall save the game, and we can send the turn onto Ireland and see what madness he is uh, about to perform. Um, I'm not sure what he's doing with his huge military, but it doesn't sound uh, like yeah. It sounds like he's planning for war, basically. <laughs> Against who I don't know, but your yeah, war is definitely coming from uh, Ireland. So, that was turn number 20, uh, 23, 33, um, check out Island's turn number 33, and, um, also check out the other players' turns, um, on their channels, I shall put their, their channels in my description, and I shall see you all in turn number 34, where, um, I say we, we will still be planning for war against the Welsh, um, and then we shall strike, uh, probably turn number 35, um, we'll give him time to prepare his defences for the oncoming storm, so we, I shall see you then.